Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I got a question from a viewer in Orlando, Florida. He writes in about his field piece SC77 clamp meter. It's a multi-tester. He says it's a nice tester, but the issues are when I set it in ohms, the reading is not perfect. It's supposed to be 0, 0.0, but in this meter it's 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.5. Uh, he's thinking it's defective, and he uses continuity a lot in his tests, as I do. He says, what do you think about this meter? It is very expensive. I'm using it for electrical and HVAC service, but he can't trust it for the ohms right now. There are some things you can do uh, to check out right away that may solve the whole problem. Let's get started. Let me uh, show you uh, what, what might just help. These are my two true RMS clamp meters. This is the Fluke 325, and this is the Client Tools uh, CL2000. Uh, your field piece is in this category. Uh, this one's probably $40 more than this one, and yours is probably in between these two. The first thing you want to do for your field piece to troubleshoot it is test your battery. And your field piece is going to use a 9 volt battery. Um, it says 9 volt right there, so that's 9 volt DC, that's what you're going to want. So this is set to DC volts. So I'm going to take one terminal, one lead, and put it to this terminal, and one lead to put it to that terminal. And you see I got 9.46 volts for the battery. So you have a good battery. Alright, so that's the first thing you do uh, in your test, is, is make sure you have a good battery. The next thing you do is uh, test out your leads. Uh, this is the lead from the Klein CL2000. It's one of the leads. And I have uh, my Fluke 325 turned to ohms here. All right, so I'm going to take and connect one of the, ohm, one of the testers to the Klein tester and one of the probes to the other end of the Klein lead. I have continuity because the buzzer is going off and it says 0.1 ohms. Zero, there's zero. Okay. Alright, so that shows that this lead is good. It has uh, zero ohms resistance. So uh, test out both your leads and make sure they're good. Make sure there's no nicks on them. Visually inspect them. After you've tested your battery, you make sure it has the proper DC voltage. And you've tested your leads uh, for continuity. And you've uh, looked, uh, visually inspected where you plug the leads into the meter and make sure there's no corrosion or anything. Uh, the next thing you do is probably the test you've been doing. And uh, you put your meter on ohms and just touch the two probes together. Uh, you hear the buzzer, which means there is continuity. And we have 0.0, .0 ohms. So that's how you know uh, that your meter is working properly. So there's some things you can do to uh, troubleshoot your ohms uh, testing problem. And if you still have a problem, after you've checked the battery, you've checked the leads, you've checked your connections, and then you've uh, double checked uh, to make sure you get zero ohms when you uh, touch the probes together on resistance, um, and you still have a problem, uh, then you should call field piece and uh, your meter may still be under warranty and they may just take care of it. Uh, but do check out these uh, simple tests first and uh, in my video description, in case anyone's interested, uh, I'll put a link um, for the Fluke uh, meters. That, there's a series of them, the 323, the 324, and the 325. Uh, they range, the, the 323s um, between $90 and $100 uh, currently. Uh, it's an excellent price. It's the number one best-selling clamp meter on Amazon.com. And, and all the ones I'm going to put on my uh, video description uh, are true RMS. That's root, mean, square. Uh, you want RMS uh, for accurate readings. So I'll put uh, links for the, for the series. Uh, 323, 324, 325 fluke voltmeters, and I'll put a link for the, uh, the Klein Tools CL2000 True RMS. 
Uh, it has some excellent features that the others don't have, and the, the flukes have some features that the Klein doesn't have. And uh, I'll put a link for the uh, field piece uh, uh, meter as well, which is uh, somewhere in between. And the field piece meters are very popular with the HVAC uh, technicians. Thanks, I hope this video has been of help. Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I got a question from a viewer in Orlando, Florida. He writes in about his field piece SC77 clamp meter. It's a multi-tester. He says it's a nice tester, but the issues are when I set it in ohms, the reading is not perfect. It's supposed to be 0, 0.0, but in this meter it's 1.2, 1.3, 1.5. Uh, he's thinking it's defective, and he uses continuity.